welcome back friends now we are going to solve another cost of capital uh, problem where we have to find out the WACC weighted average cost of capital using uh, book value and market value as weights all right and uh, so here's the problem B limited has the following capital structure source equity capital general reserve 8% debenture capital and the amount is given now it's PBIT or EBIT. What is PBIT? Profit before interest and tax. EBIT is earnings before interest and tax. It is rupees thirty one thousand one sixty for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twelve. The tax rate is fifty percent. The market price of the equity share is rupees one twenty. Calculate WACC using book value as base weights and market value as weights. Now let's solve this problem. The solution. Now we have to first find out what is the cost of equity and then find out what is the cost of debt or cost of debenture. Now for finding out the cost of equity here, we are going to use the earnings price approach. Why are we going to use the earnings price approach and not the dividend plus growth approach is because number one, we do not have the growth rate. All right. Number two is we do not know what is the expected dividend per share. but we can find out what is EPS. Market price per share is given there, 120. So let's find out EPS. How will we find out EPS? So PBIT, EBIT is given 31,160 minus interest. What is interest? 8% debentures on 52,000. So the interest is 8% on 52,000. It's 4,160. All right. So the PBT, profit before tax, or EBT, earnings before tax, is 27,000. Then from here you deduct tax. What is the tax rate given? 50% at 50%. So this is 13,500. So your, Your PAT, profit after tax, or your EAT is 13,500 minus preference dividend. Any preference dividend here? No. So your equity earnings is 13,500. Now, what is equity earnings? This is nothing but earnings or profit available to equity shareholders. Now let's find out EPS. Now EPS is equity earnings divided by the number of equity shares. Now what is the number of equity shares? Equity earnings we found out 13,500. Now what is the number of equity shares? Now here the equity capital is 90,000, right? And the price of each share is 100. So the number of equity shares is 90,000 divided by 100. So that gives you 900 equity shares. So the EPS is 15 rupees. All right. So therefore, your earnings, or sorry, your cost of equity is EPS 15, your market price per share which is 120 into 100, that is 12.5%. All right, 12.5%. Now, what is KD? KD is 8%. Okay, now you have to always make the tax adjustment after tax cost. So, what is the tax rate? 0 0.5. So, KD is 4%. All right, now, we also have to find out what is the cost of general reserve. Okay, let's call it K uh, general reserve, KRE. Okay, now KRE will be equal to KE. Now, why is that? See, now the equity capital here is known as external equity. But the general reserve, basically this comes from what? The reserves and surplus and and from where you know how do we build up the general reserve the reserves and surplus account 
from the equity earnings. Now, from the equity earnings, you pay a part of it is uh, a part of it goes as dividend to equity shareholders, and the other part goes to reserves and surplus account. So, if you look at this general reserve, this money actually belongs to the equity shareholders, and that's why they say that this general reserve is known as internal equity, internal equity, and that is why we can assume KRE is equal to KE. Now, just because it is internal equity, just because the money comes from uh, the reserve, uh, the money comes from equity earnings and not as a loan or or issuing new equity shares to the public, just because you know it is internal equity does not mean it is free. You have to pay, you know, there is a cost because you're using equity shareholders' money, right? So if you're going to use equity shareholders' money, there is a cost involved. Okay, and we assume that that cost is equal to the cost of external equity. So KRE is equal to KE into 12.5%. Now, let's find out WACC. Computation of WACC using book value weights. All right, using book value weights. Now, what do we do here? Show the source, the amount, after tax cost, and total cost. What is the source? You have equity, capital. All right. You have general reserve. And you have debenture capital. All right. What is the amount? Equity capital. It's given here. 90,000, 18,000, 52,000. So, 19, 90,000, 18,000, and 52,000. So, that ad adds up to 1 lakh 60. What is the after tax cost that we found out? So, cost of equity is 12.5%. General reserve is also 12.5%. Debentures is 4%. So, take 12.5% of 90,000, that is 11,250. 12.5% of 18,000 is 2,250. And 4% of 52,000 is 2,080. So add up, all right, it will come to, so 15,580. So WACC using book value weights is equal to 15,580 divided by 160 into 100 equals to 9.74%. Alright, so we have calculated the first part, book value, WACC using book value as base weights. Now, we have to find out WACC using mark, market value as weights. So this is very simple. Now, everything remains the same. You don't have to find out KE anymore. You don't have to find out KD anymore. It's, all this remains the same. But what will change, uh, let me tell you, is this one. The, you know, the, the equity capital will change. The venture capital will also change. All right. Why? Because now, for calculating the, the equity capital, we are, no, we are no longer going to use the book value rupees 100 we're going to use the market value which is 120 all right so let me get another paper all right there you go all right now let's calculate WACC using market 
value as base weights. Show the source again. The amount after tax costs. and total cost all right so what is the source equity capital now how many shares are there 900 shares into now we are not going to you know find out the equity capital using the book value we're going to find out equity capital using the market value and what is the market price of the share it's 120 so 900 900 into 120 is equal to 1 lakh 8000 after tax costs will remain the same 12.5 percent now the next is debentures Of course, debenture will remain the same, debenture capital. Okay, it does not, you know, the book, uh, the market value is not given. After tax costs will also remain the same. All right, so 4% of 52,000 is 2080. And 12.5% of 1,8,000 is 13,500. All right, so total of this is 1,60,000. And fifteen thousand five eighty. All right. Now, you may be wondering why have I not taken the general reserve? Now, what is general reserve? I told it. It is internal equity. Internal equity does not have a market value. All right. So there is no separate market value for reserves. Okay. Now the market value of external equity, the market value of equity capital. Okay, it takes into account the existing reserves of the company. So, we need not show the general reserve whenever we find out WACC using market value as weights. We don't have to find, we don't have to show the general reserve because general reserve, you know, it is internal equity. It does not have a market value. So, WACC KO is equal to 15,580 divided by 160 or 160 into 100 it's equal to 9.74 percent all right so that is the WACC using market value as weights and it's just so happened that the WACC okay WACC using book value weights is 9.74 percent as well as the WACC using market value it's the same all right, so that this is a simple problem, how to find out WACC using both book value as well as market value as base weights.